What's up, what's up, what's up, it's Malik, and this is like my 2015 year in review type thing. I've done this every year since I've been on YouTube, so I might as well keep it going. This is basically where I set out all my accomplishments in 2015, some of my favorite things in 2015, then I lay out some goals for 2016. So let's get it. 2015 has been a great year for me, yo, like... <laughs> This time last year I had 3,000 subscribers, now I have 17,000 plus subscribers. This time last year I had 200k total views, now I have 1.7 million. Bro! And that's crazy because in February I said I wanted 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2015. I hit 10,000 subscribers on September 15th. And that was a major accomplishment because, you know, I, that was a huge jump in my opinion. I was like, damn, I'm sitting at like 3,000 plus subscribers right now, like how am going to jump? 7,000 subscribers to get to 10k but it happened so like when I hit 10,000 subscribers in September I was like well damn you know, I still got like a couple months left I can try to hit 20k I'm at 17k now so I didn't you know really meet my goal of making 20k but you know hey my initial goal was to make 10k in 2015 and I crushed that and you know something that's crazy to me about my growth is that all of my success as far as it comes to YouTube and some other things in my life but mainly my success towards YouTube it's been me actually just speaking it, you know? I never doubted myself. When I say I wanted 10K in 2015, I said it almost every day. I was like, damn, like, I want 10K. Like, I'm gonna get 10K. Every time I uploaded a video, I had 10K in my mind. I'm a firm believer of speaking things into existence. Like, you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta put it into the air. You know what I'm saying? You gotta remind yourself, like, yo, this is your purpose. You gotta do this. Like, as far as it comes to YouTube in 2015, like, it's just, I've been having fun with it, but I've just been putting in work. You feel me? I've uploaded 125 times in 2015. That means I sat in front of my computer, edited 125 videos, and uploaded 125 videos, which is crazy to me. In 2014, I brought into, you know, uploading every week, but in 2015, like, I really brought into, you know, consistency. And people, like, a lot of, a lot of smaller YouTubers, I mean, I still consider myself a small YouTuber, but don't, like, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, like, people that's trying to become a YouTuber, they always ask me, like, Leek, like, how can I get big? Like, how can I, you know, grow? And it's all consistency. Like, you cannot be a YouTuber and, you know, upload once a month or every three weeks or some bullshit like that. Like, you gotta be consistent every week. Like, if you can't do two or three times a week, do once a week. Like, show people... Because people, they're not going to want to subscribe to you if they see, oh, like, you upload once a month. I've had, like, two or three weeks this week, I mean, this year, that I've uploaded every day in that week. So, like, I uploaded from Sunday to the next Sunday, you feel me? And I uploaded every day in Thanksgiving break, so I uploaded for 10 days straight. But, like, I'm not saying that, like, that's for everybody because uploading every day is hard. I'm just saying, like, for me, my mind is always going with ideas. Like, I can honestly upload a video every day if it wasn't for school and wrestling, you know, stuff getting in my way, but I can honestly, like, the way, like, my creative process goes in my head, you know, me getting ideas for skits, oh yeah, that's another thing, skits, I want to do way more skits than I'm doing right now, like, skits are something that, I wouldn't say that, like, they're rare on my channel, but I want, at a point on my channel, skits were, like, you know, the thing that I did, but then I started to, you know, get away from it, because skits take time, and I didn't have a lot of time, you know, school was starting up and everything, and it's hard to find time to do skits, but skits is a, one thing I want to do way more on this channel. But anyways, like I was saying, like the way my creative process goes, and I just get hella ideas for different things. Like I can just I can really upload every day if I could. And something else I want to say about you know my success and my growth on YouTube in 2015 is that I had this thing going into 2015 saying that I'm not gonna talk about what's coming. I even said it. I think. In the 2015, uh, 2014 year in review that I did last year, I said, I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to say, like, 2015 is my year. This is going to work. And that's what, I've just worked. Like, bruh, I've, y'all don't know, like, the work I put into YouTube. I love YouTube so much, man. Like, to be honest with you, none of this feel like work, man. Like, this is all fun to me. But, like, when I say that I was just going to work and, you know, put out content and let other people say what what's gonna happen for me. I mean, I'm not saying I was gonna let other people decide what my future was gonna be like. I'm just saying like, instead of just blabbing about, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, like, just do it. <laughs> and that's a trait I'm gonna carry into 2016. It's just to work, man. You just gotta make moves. But yeah, man, that's enough about my success in 2015. 
goal for 2016. My goal in 2016 is to hit 100,000 subscribers, and I will hit 100,000 subscribers. I believe in myself so much to the point where big goals like that don't really phase me because I know my work ethic, and you know I know what I can do, and like I'm just it's going to happen. Like 100,000 subscribers, I'm coming for that ass. And honestly, bro, I was just know I'm going to hit 100,000 subscribers because the way that y'all cared me, like. That's another thing in 2015 is that y'all, y'all make me want to upload videos. Like in every video is all love, man. Like y'all really motivate me to keep going. I love reading comments. Y'all know I reply to every comment on my video. When I see that people will appreciate my videos and, you know, they say, keep going, blah, 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 blah. Like I really mess with your, with your videos. I just found you today. I've been watching you all day. I've been binge watching your videos. Like when people say all that stuff, like that motivates me to keep going like yo people are really messing with me so I'm gonna keep going honestly like some of y'all send me some like DMs like y'all I feel like some of y'all believe in me more than I believe in myself you feel me and that's like hella love like I feel that when people send me like yo man like, I really mess with your videos blah, blah, blah. like I feed off that like y'all may think I'm just you know brushing you off like you're some fan, like no, I I really feed off that shit for real. Like, all y'all my homies, like I don't really like calling my subscribers fans because fans seems too indirect. Y'all know if any of y'all have ever DM me on Instagram or Twitter, like or on, even on Snapchat, I, I'm gonna reply. Like I'm not the type of YouTuber to, you know, ignore all, all my supporters. Like that shit's dead. Like honestly, I hate when YouTubers do that too. Like that shit's so disrespectful. Like how you gonna? Ignore the people who made you who you are. Like that's that's mad disrespectful in my eyes. The way I see it is like these people made you who you are. So why don't you talk to them? You know what I'm saying? Like when I see YouTubers, they don't reply to their comments on YouTube. Like what the f like what are you doing? And you know some of my supporters that have you know hit me up. I've honestly made some friends with some of those people. And like there's some real cool people out there. Another goal in 2016 for me is to audition for more like. I want to get into plays and more acting type things. Another goal for me in 2016 is to get out more. Y'all ever feel like y'all like being by yourself a little bit more, like a little bit too much? Honestly, in 2015, I I found time to be by myself and to, you know, find myself. It's hard to explain. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But, you know, I found time to be with myself and, you know, just like, no Malik, you know what I'm saying? Like, do what I do, listen to music, you know, write. But some days I felt like I was, you know, a little bit too disconnected from the world if that makes sense i think i'm trying to say balance my time more than get out more i mean i still want to get out more but i want to find ways to balance my life another goal for me in 2016 is to release my first short film that i've written if you follow me on social media you probably already know that i have been writing a short film and it's called one for me and it's written by malik bz aka daddy this is going to be a really great short film man it's I'm, a, I'm expecting it to be around like 10 minutes. I really can't wait to put this one on the lens, man. Like, this is, y'all gonna love this one for real. Man, with that being said, man, I just wanna do a lot more with, you know, my director slash writer self. Way more comedy sketches, way more, you know, in action. Like, I hate making like sit down videos all the time. Like, I like rants because I'm just, rants is what I do. Now, you know, I like to sit down and put my little two cents in here and there, but. I like to act. <laughs> like, I'm too animated to just be sitting down in the chair and talking like I'm a character. Uh, 2016, I can't wait. 2015 was great, and 2016 is going to be even better. Be sure to go follow me on all my social medias to keep up. Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat, all that's in the link in the description. Give this video a huge thumbs up and also tell me in the comment section below what is some success that you've achieved in 2015 and what are your goals in 2016. Till next time, deuces.